I work at the Morgan Library and Museum as a reader services librarian. In 1906, John Pierpont Morgan built this to house his collection. He had so many books and objects and drawings and manuscripts, he needed a separate building. This is where scholars and researchers come to do research on our rare collections. Kayseri is a very ancient city located in central Anatolia, now Turkey. It was first called Mazaka in ancient times, then it was renamed Caesarea, now it's called Kayseri. And in Armenian it's called Gesaria or Kesaria. St. Gregory the Illuminator, who converted the Armenians to Christianity in the early 4th century, was converted to Christianity himself in this town. Kayseri was a mostly Muslim city, but the Armenians made up a, a large minority of, um, of the population. So Kayseri was the home of a rather important Armenian workshop of silversmiths. We know that it existed at least between the dates 1653 and 1741. They seem to have specialized in liturgical objects, that is, objects made for the church. The most um, number of objects which have come down to us are covers that they made for sacred manuscripts. These are silver plaques that were put onto the covers, front and back, and sometimes there's also a hinged spine piece. The silversmiths who made these objects, uh, we do know a little bit about them, not too much, but we know their names. And there are three family names that continue on for decades. So we have Malchas, Shabaz, and Shamir, or a variant of Shahamir. These names seem to have Eastern Armenian origins or Persian origins. So it's possible that these were Armenians who emigrated from Iran. It's very likely that these three families were related by marriage. It's kind of normal that you pass on the family profession to your son, your grandson, your nephew. The fact that it, this, this family workshop lasted almost a century, almost a hundred years, or maybe a little longer, is pretty good for a family business. These manuscript covers were generally made by what's called the repoussé technique, uh, re which means that you take a silver plate, you put it on something malleable like wax or pitch, and you have special tools, and you push from the back. That's why it's called repoussé, pushed. So um, it's concave on the back and convex on the front. And then you will further uh, embellish it from the front using other special tools. Some of these covers were just plain silver. Others were gilt silver, so gold put on top of it. Others have beautiful enameling, colored enamels uh, on them. The silversmiths were inspired by a number of different sources for the designs on their silver covers. One was Armenian manuscript illumination, and the second, Western European woodcuts and engravings found in printed books. We have discovered at least one precise source, which would be woodcuts by a Dutch artist named Christoffel van Sikkim. The Morgan Library and Museum is very lucky to have three of these uh, sets of silver covers. This is the earliest of the three Kaiseri uh, silver covers that came into our collection. This is the back cover. The central scene consists of an angel in the sky with clouds and, and cherubs. We see a man sleeping here. Notice his little slippers by his bed. There are some other objects that are a little hard to figure out. This looks like it might be a pitcher. Here, there's something with a serrated edge. I thought at first maybe it was a palm leaf, but I didn't understand why there was a palm leaf in a basket. But later, when we figured out where the inspiration came from this image, everything was made clear. And it comes from the 1666 Bible, the first Armenian Bible printed in the Armenian language from Amsterdam. So this is in the Gospel of Matthew, and here is the same image. Angel in the sky, cherubs around, man sleeping. This image is called the Dream of Joseph. This is when Joseph 
is asleep and he's worried about marrying Mary. And an angel comes to him and says, don't worry about it, it's okay. So then we understand what the objects are because he was a carpenter. So this serrated item is very likely some kind of a saw. And this is not at all a pitcher, but it, it has to be a plane used for shaving the wood that's sitting on a table. But when it was transferred to silver, it was a little difficult to make it understood. Besides the fact that these are beautiful objects, they are historically important. And the Morgan Library has always been interested in books, manuscripts, and beautiful bindings. So this fits in perfectly with the collection policy of the Morgan Library Museum. <laughs>